Hi guys, welcome to a new series that I'm trying out called 30 Days of Watercolor. Um, today we're going to look at day one, landscape. And I chose a landscape from my camera roll. This is um, from Chelan, Washington, and it was a wonderful trip, and I just thought it would be fun to paint this pretty little scene. So I'm just taking um, a pencil and sketching the outlines of some of the major elements just to give myself a little idea of what the composition will look like. I'm not gonna worry a lot about details, I'm just outlining. Now here I like to work from back to front and light to dark. So um, you saw me just paint a little bit of water down on the page and now I'm applying some blue color. This is called wet on wet. I'm applying wet paint to a wet paper. And I'm going to do the same for the water in front, I'm making the water a little darker. I like to apply colors towards the edges of my lines and then pull the color down into the shape. And it just kind of gives a little outline when I do that. Here I'm playing with mixing green and blue, a little bit of brown to create these mountains in the background. And now you can layer up on colors a little bit, but again, I like to go light to dark. So once I have everything down here, I can come back over with some darker colors to add more shading or contrast. In front here, I've got a little pot of flowers. So adding a little bit of color in the front. And now I'm gonna start adding some vegetation in front of the water. So we've got some bushy trees up here, although in my painting they just end up looking like bushes and that's fine. Even though I'm working from a reference photo, it doesn't matter if it comes out exactly. Um, here I'm creating this tree and I noticed that the branches point up, so I tried to paint using the same kind of brush strokes to create um, the shape of the tree. So I'm, I'm painting up on this because that's the direction of the branches in the picture. And then here I'm just trying to add a few more brush strokes to kind of give it a little bit of a leafy texture. And now I'm coming in to add some foliage to my plant here. And here I'm just dotting pink colors to give it the look of flowers. Nothing too precise. This is more about the practice and process. I love painting first thing in the morning, especially with watercolors. They're so easy. You can create something beautiful in just a few minutes. I will link below the paints that I'm using here. Um, these are some watercolors I bought like 15 years ago and I still have plenty of color left. So these were a little bit more expensive, but definitely worth it. Um, and these ones are kind of shimmery. They have a little bit of a, a shimmer to them, which you may or may not be able to see through the camera. But so now you can kind of see that this landscape that I'm painting just has different layers. We were kind of sitting up on a hill looking down at the lake. So I'm just kind of giving a different color and shade to each layer of the landscape. Coming back with a darker color in the background to give some trees. And again, you're gonna have crisper lines when you use um, paint onto a dry surface. So if you let your painting dry and you go back over it, you can add some crisp lines on top. just kind of dabbling here trying to fill in my plant a little bit and now I wanted to give some more um, illusion of reflection off the water and I noticed in my photo there were some darker colors to the right side of the lake so I added those in and now I'm doing the same thing for my flower pot. I'm coming in and adding some lines because this was a wood 
a wood barrel, so I wanted to kind of give it a little essence of that. And the last thing is we're adding some green grasses in the very front. And there you go. That's it. I will link all of the supplies that I used in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and stay tuned for day two.